So back to my wooden H quadcopter. I've um, received these SCs, they're um, hobby fans. Made in China apparently. Instructions with all beeps and all sorts of things. So more instructions coming out of China, which is good to see. We'll mount these up and uh, see if we can get some motor spinning. Just a quick example of how I've been doing my wiring looms. Basically, I join these two ESCs together, put in a, a thicker gauge wire, run it down to the other two SCs, and I just strip a bit of the wire here, solder that up, then solder on the two grounds from the other end, then you leave a little bit of length, cut it to where you need your XT60 connector to go to, and strip it a little, back a little bit and put on your connector. So it's all basically the one connecting wire just with attachments and you put your heat shrink in the appropriate location to run it down to where you need to go over the whole lot. It's a pretty neat solution in the end. So that's basically how it works. Soldered these ones directly on. The wire I've taken it underneath here just to keep away from the controller. Then comes up here, just cut out a bit of the the wire, connect it on, heat shrink over the top, and you take that out to your XT60 connector. Just a small tip when you're soldering on your XT60, just plug it in, plug your female into one of the males when you're soldering so that it doesn't mess up the pins and they won't, because they get very hot and sometimes they move around a little bit. So they'll uh, keep their position. So I've got the motors, ESCs, receiver, KK, all ready to test the motor direction. So I'll fire it all up and we'll see how she goes. ESCs are calibrated. Um, Receivers in. Plug it in. Test the moves. Looks good. Put it all together.